Yeah, with, with Pog, obviously, the, the, the most pleasing thing for me on Saturday, because obviously he was on the, the left side of the defence with Mikolenko on the other side, he was talking Mikolenko through the whole game. I watched him the whole game, talking to Mikolenko, telling him in the positions what to get into and what positions he was maybe not doing correctly. So that was the pleasing thing for me. You could see his leadership. And I said this yesterday, I actually think I had the, the winner out of Co- out of Cody coming in especially, and obviously Tarkovsky is Mason Holgate potentially, because I thought actually Mason Holgate, when he came on the pitch on Saturday, was very, I was very impressed with Mason Holgate because usually, I think we've seen in the past, haven't we, Matthew, where he's come on, he's not switched on, he gives the ball away, he goes into stupid tackles, but... I think from the minute he come on the pitch on Saturday, I was really impressed with him, to be honest with you. Yeah, I mean, you're absolutely spot on, Steve, with, with that with Holgate. Cause on in the Kiev friendly, as soon as he came on, he gave he gave a pass that was that was short, and we almost got ourselves into a bit yeah. of trouble. Um, but you know, just echoing what Dave says about about Tarkovsky, and you know, I think we judge him by by the dice tax. You know, he, he's a bit of a also he's a bit of a Snyder, a bit of a dog. And yeah. you know he's, he's actually quite quite a cultured player. When you, when you put him into an environment where he's he's allowed to sort of play that, and you know some some yeah. of the passes he's hit in preseason, some of the passes that he played in um, in in the game on Saturday, you know it it just it, it does make you realise that you 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 can pigeonhole people um, just by virtue of, of of the club they've come from and the way they. I mean, you mentioned it just there about his organisation skills and. Looking at, at him trying to re- shuffle in the line as well, and he was you know, constantly trying to keep make sure everybody kept their shape. He was obviously he was looking over his shoulder all the time to see what Pickford was doing, to see if that pass was on or where he was to make sure he created an angle. So you know he he, he brought a lot of calmness to, to the back four, sorry to the back five. You know last last season, the opening game of the yeah. season last year, we had Holgate and Keane. And you know, obviously go trip over each other's feet, and, and Adam Armstrong was in, you know, to, to score the opener. But yeah. it just didn't seem it, it just you know set the tongue for the season for me that. But you know, there just seems to be a, a calmness and you know, an acknowledgement that you know right, I'm responsible for the back. I'm in charge of this. You know, I'll guide the other players through through the game. And you know, just spot on with, with Mikalenko again. You know, having somebody him on the left hand side of, of a back three. Mikalenko goes forward. You know he's more than capable enough to cover for him as well, and you know we can coach him up and down that line just the same as you know as, as Patterson would, would need the same. Whoever plays on the right, even if it's Coleman or it's you know if it's um, Holgate, you know he's still going to need the same amount of, of of coaching and and confidence building. Tarkovsky for me, he I thought he was he was brilliant. There's one one tackle in the second half, late in the second half. But he just took the ball clean off somebody's toes and moved away in the same in the same movement. I can't remember things, but I thought, yeah, do you know what? That's class. That. Yeah, that's me. He was he was excellent through the whole game. Now, I know now you're a big uh, Tarkovsky fan. I uh, know you were speaking about him yesterday very highly, and um, you're looking forward to seeing him for the rest of the yeah, season. It's, now, it's yeah, it's just that leadership quality we've missing for a long time. We've had you know really good centre backs, really good. Leaders at the backs, you know, there's many famous names you can mention. Players like Kevin Ratcliffe, Kevin, Kevin Ratcliffe, and Dave Watson. I'm not saying he's as as a talented as, as them, although we could be. But he's that leading need at the back, and and especially now we've got. Well, we had Godfrey. Obviously, he's going to be out for a while. But I always said when we signed him, if you want to get Patterson in, into the Premier League at a young age and get him playing every week, and Mikelenko, who who's come on a lot defensively, but still needs work defensively. You know, he's a young. You know, he's a young left back. He's still new to the Premier League. You've got Godfrey, who's, you know, physically a good player. Needs to improve defensively. He's not got like proper de- defensive instincts like Tarkowski have. And the same goes for Holgate, like you mentioned there. So have someone at the back who just who's got who gives you that confidence, who's, who's talking to you and, and constantly telling you, you know, when when to go, when to stay, you know, when to attack a ball, when to go and close up, close down a player. Because too many times, especially last season. You know, wingers were coming down the wing and we didn't stop crosses, we didn't deal with them properly and, and it's because there was not enough, enough communication at the back and now we've got that and now we've got someone to properly organise a defence, which is what we need, especially some games last season, I think with Tottenham away, we had a diagonal back four and it was all over the place. Yeah. We, we've got a player now who's was that stability and he'll give us a, a 7 out of 10 every every game and that's what we need. We've got Mike, yeah. a, play, you know, a player like Michael Keane who's... 
you're deemed by now at his age to be that sort of like leadership, you know, that leader at the back that you need, that alpha, but he's just not. And I think that, that's because he's he's such a confidence player that some games he, he'll be really good when asked to just defend and, and he'll be he'll do his job fine. But when you the other players can't have confidence in him and have that trust when he has so many poor games. Tarkowski's a con- a consistent player now. He will hopefully give us that stability at the back, and that's what we need. Especially if we're not going to be scoring a lot of goals this season, I don't think. Unless we can get some forwards in, and other players can start, you know, chipping in with the goals, which is one of the positives from pre-season. Actually, other players started to score goals, which was good. If we can start, to, if we, we don't start doing that more, then we're going to have to start keeping clean sheets and concede less goals. Because as you saw last season, when the yeah. goals dried up or we we struggling to create chances. And we're leaking goals at the back and conceding goal after goal after goal. You you finish. You're going to get lower and lower down the table. So we can, like Wolves last season, they didn't score a lot of goals, but they stayed tight, stayed compact. Had a lot of one nil games. Next goals have set pieces, which I imagine we'll probably do a few games this season. We brought in a player like Connor Cody. We'll talk about um, shortly. I'm, I'm sure, but you know, a player like him who's used to who's used to that. And Tarkowski's similar, keeping clean sheets, grinding out games. And, and ultimately as well improving the young players that are playing around him. If you want to watch the rest of this video, then make sure you join Toffee TV Premier when you can get access to all our exclusive shows, including live daily videos. Click the QR code on the screen here.